Hey guys, it's Nero2010. This is going to be a quick video to show you how to connect to your NAS system, uh, which is your network accessible storage device if you have one. The one that I'm using is the DNS321. I'm pretty new to uh, Max and I had a very difficult time at the beginning to kind of figure out how to connect to the server. Um, sometimes it's easy enough, it kind of just shows up in your shared right there on the side. But when I first set it up, it didn't actually show it. What I had to do was right click, connect to server, and then I had to go to browse. And once I hit browse, it actually showed all the shared devices. That's the only time it actually pop popped up. So that might be something that you might have to do. Once you actually hit on it, there you go, it shows you your volume and all the uh, data that you have on your network accessible storage device. Uh, people were asking me, how does the DNS321 stream video, does it have any hiccups or anything? One thing that you have to do, keep in mind, is uh, you need a gigabit router to get the maximum transfer speed. At uh, first I had a regular um, uh, router and it only gave me maybe like anywhere between 6 to 8 megs per second. And then I upgraded to a gigabit router and it gave me uh, 12 to 15 megs per second. So just to show you how it streams an HD movie, which I had backed up 2012 onto my drive so I could access it around the house using VLC. And you'll see without a hiccup, I could basically go anywhere in this movie and it just doesn't really flicker. And every once in a while, bless you. Very easy. So as you saw, there was absolutely no hiccups. And the thing is, you could go and do the same thing on your laptop while you're doing it, playing a movie on your Mac, and it just doesn't stop. I guess 15 megs per second is just perfect. Um, one thing that you're going to want to do is one thing that I found out is if you shut off the NAS, because sometimes that you'll hear the hard drive in the background and you just don't want to listen to it and you're not using it, the, the finder itself will lose the D-link there, and then you turn it back on and it doesn't appear in there. So once you actually find it, you go into your recent servers, click on it, puts into your server address, and you'll just want to add it to your favorite servers. The good thing about that is, once you've actually added it to your favorites and it disappears in the finder and you can't find it in here, you just go back into connect to server. It already has the address of the server once you've actually turned it back on. If you double click on it, it lets you access it right away without a problem. As soon as you click on it, it shows select the volumes you want to mount, then you just uh, click OK, it mounts it, and it shows back up into your finder. Hopefully, all the noobs out there on Max, this helps you out quite a bit. And uh, please comment, subscribe, and rate. And uh, see you guys later.